So in this March month, I attended all my exams, several hernial surgeries, a laparoscopic surgery, a normal delivery, a cesarean section, a medical termination of pregnancy. While just being in second year, who had no clue about how surgery looks like two months ago. Hi folks. So yesterday was our second day of OT, and yesterday we saw a hernial surgery. They were putting the mesh over the inguinal ring, and I could see that they were taking the hernial sac inside. They were using laparoscope. I never saw a laparoscope before. They made three incision. What through one incision they did put the laparoscope inside. Like the camera thing, and through the other through incisions, they put that the handle kind of thing through which they were handling and taking in the uh, hernial sac. It was interesting to see. Like there is one surgeon who is handling the handles, and then the other surgeon who is uh, holding the camera, and they were uh, coordinating with each other, and it was nice. Like if I could share it, I'll share it. Secondly, we just changed the department for some time, and we saw the two surgeries perform being performed in the gynec department, and both of them were of ovarian cyst removal. So. I uh, I have never seen ovarian cyst in real life but when I saw it yesterday I was amazed like there were two surgeries going side by side and then one cyst was so small and one cyst was so large and it was so uh, serious like the blood loss was more than that of the hernial surgery that I saw everything was exposed and it was first of all kind of frightening and scary to me because uh, i couldn't stand there not because i cannot um, face the blood it's because it was it was a lot of blood for me for once we went to the gynec department because my friend wanted me to see the ovarian cyst it was amazing it was scary and frightening but still we did it we saw it and i want to work like that i just feel i just want to work like that There is one thing constant that I want to say that I it's been one year of me into this college okay of me studying in this college and still I really don't remember the floors of the department like I thought the FMT department is on the second floor or maybe the third floor but it's on fifth floor so much of this hey I was right was I right it's not on fifth floor I was right. Oh yeah, I didn't know. What? 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 Do it again. Do it again. Topper, topper of twenty twenty two batch. He is Josh Salaskar, and Isko first year me legit eighty percent hai hai. Eighty two point five, Bhagwan. So basically, it's eighteenth of March, and today is Monday. So now at ten am we have postings. So ten to eleven am we will attend postings, and after that we have. Uh, around 1 we have our exams of uh, term 1 for second year and trust me today is monday and we have exams for the next 6 days continuously we have 6 papers in 6 days so we cannot complain it to our seniors because they have been through the same thing so here are our surgical instruments we were studying about the structure and the function of every instrument just have a look at them so just when our surgery posting started the first thing i was eager to do was to buy scrubs for myself and to click a picture to show it to everyone Of course I did that and it's another kind of feeling when you are in the scrubs and you get that look of yourself I'm going to take vaccine so let's wrap up this conversation very fast What you had been working for postings all we saw was hernial surgeries in surgical postings and to be honest at one point of time it was very very boring I mean you see the same thing for more than four times 
it becomes so repetitive and dull. H1N1 type A, H3N2 and type B. Cordivalent vaccine contain another B strain of virus administered by intramuscular or intradermal route. Okay, so, so, so just after that, we had two things going parallel to each other, our OBGY postings and exams. So let's talk about witnessing a normal vaginal delivery for the first time. When I went into the labor room, that woman was just being prepared for her delivery and doctors were given her time for her cervix dilatation. And since the waiting was very long, like it took a long time and our timings for the postings were over, we left the labor room. But I was so unstable and so curious to know about the next things that after eating my tiffin in about half an hour, I went to see, the, see that woman. And I just saw the last phase of the delivery, so it was like the head of the baby could be clearly seen from the outside. And it was like black black, so which was of course the baby's hair, and it could be seen. And then there was another woman who started to press uh, the woman, the stomach of the woman undergoing delivery. Now I really don't want this video to be too long for you to see, so I'll explain everything of the whole process in the next video. Till then, do subscribe to this channel.